All right, boys, let's go right into this Gruden. I got house music in my ear. I got a coffee. Let's Cup talk about Giant Gruden. Shit's spicy, dude. All right, first things first, let's uh, let's backtrack. Let's go in the past about 11, 12 days ago when the first piece of anything came out about John Gruden. The okay. first thing that came out was an old, old email that John Gruden had sent to Bruce Allen, uh, former president of the Washington football team, yep. where he's referencing Demoris Smith. Demoris Smith is the current head of of the NFL Players Association. He's like the president, I believe, is his title. Okay. And he said he had big ass lips, oh, which is racially insensitive. 100%. Black people have big ass lips. White people have small ass lips. This yeah. is a well-known stereotype. Yeah. So yeah. insensitive. Is it, you know, lose your fucking job worthy? This is an email sent in 2011. My personal opinion, it's not. Everybody's no. allowed to have their own opinion. But when I saw everybody freaking out about this on Twitter, I was like, fuck off. What's the big deal? He said he's got big ass lips. Yes, it's kind of fucking rude. In fact, it's really fucking rude. Mm -hmm. But oh my god, I've seen a hell of a lot worse. This man should not be fired for an email from 10 no. years ago. Also given that it's an email made in private. So that's all I'll say on that. Now the first thing I understand is, I guess the question nobody really is asking the media right now, is where did the email come from? How do, Who has access to this that's email? That's what I don't understand. How did it get leaked? And the answer to that question is, ironically, it all came about from an internal investigation waged against the Washington football team from a lot of former employees, mainly women, who really believe they were basically yeah. a, a lot of the people there's in a the lot organization. Of yes. Going on with huge. Washington football team. All last Still year. is. Yeah. Still like, is. Like uh, mistreatment of employees, right. mistreatment of females, misogynistic, sexual harassment, worst place. Yep. Um, the classic NFL stuff. Yeah. Classic NFL it's stuff. It's so tough too because, I mean, I, girls, I feel like when I, if they say something, especially like that, like m sexual misconduct, they're they're up here and the guy's down here. Whereas if, if a guy said that, it's still the same, I would think. Yeah, like, I see what you mean. people believing who, and it's like, if you have just for the sexual misconduct stuff who the who the only two people that know what actually happened is the two people, two involved. people involved so Absolutely. it's it's such a gray area well, but I then you have John Gruden putting this stuff down on paper or emails there ain't nothing you can no say about that there's no discrepancy. And you're not going to be like, someone hacked my email. Bullshit, dude. Yeah. Come on. It's from 10 years ago, too. Yeah. Also, I mean, if anyone's going to say some horrible shit, I feel like it's John Gruden. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> John Gruden fits a bill. He definitely well, does. So this was about last year. The Washington football team is absolutely under fire for mistreating for their employees, for sexual misconduct in the workplace. Basically, just a cultural workplace where it's okay to denigrate women. I get making jokes, guys. I might not be the perfect person to stand on a you know a soapbox and right. talk down on this topic. <laughs> yeah. But but if you're in a corporate workplace and you're a woman and you work there and your life fucking sucks, you're you're anxious and scared of going to work, that shit sucks. Oh, that, that would be, would be horrendous. It was very clear the Washington football team was doing this. So the NFL wages this huge internal investigation. Well, guess the fuck what? They haven't done shit to the Washington football team. There hasn't even been a formal written record of what they discovered in their investigation. After an investigation is really? done and they've concluded things, this is a year ago. They haven't gotten anything. Damn. Nothing. No formal written in the report no record, no reprimanding. I think there was monetary fines, but nothing happened. Wow. The only thing thus far that has come out of that investigation is John Gruden's leaked emails. Damn, because I didn't know that. Because John Gruden was corresponding emails to Bruce Allen, the former president of the Washington football team, right. and that's how they got this stuff. In total, there are 650,000 emails that have been uncovered and looked through by the organization that was conducting this investigation. And out of that, all that we have is John Gruden's emails. Additionally, I want to know, and this question is yet to be answered, how fucking long have they had these emails? Right, that is Are, so Were true. they just waiting? Uh, was somebody just waiting to wave a gigantic blackmail flag over John Gruden yeah. this entire time? Has John Gruden known about this? It literally started a year ago. So unless you just now, literally a year later, have finally gotten to the to-do list part of your job, which is fucking looking through the emails, right. and you just now see this thing about John Gruden, and mm -hmm. you just now take action, I think they've had this for a long time. They've been sitting on it, waiting to use it, and finally, they do. This is where I think the story gets crazy, is the first thing that gets leaked is just one email. I guess sparks a debate, really, which was that first one, the Demora Smith one. This comes out before any of the new horrible emails come out, which is where Gruden says he's got big ass lips. Po that's a point of discussion. It's a point of conflict. It's not anything massive, but it's a point of conflict. It's literally like they leaked the emails strategically. What I believe happened was, step one, they go through the emails. They realize they've got a 
ton of bad shit right. on Gruden. Yeah. Number two, Demoris Smith is up for re-election as the president of the NFL Players Association. And on that same day, the email oh, that Gruden said he had big ass lips comes out on the exact same day he's up for re-election. Really? I think the NFL. Bruh, what? I think the NFL is swinging their fucking fat cock around. I think the NFL wanted to re-elect Demoris Smith. And honestly, I don't know shit about Demoris Smith. I have no idea if he does good at his job or does bad at his job. I don't really care. Mm -hmm. It just seems way too coincidental. So I think NFL's got all this firepower against Gruden. And they do this. They drop the first email to bolster Demora Smith's position right. as getting reelected for the NFL, head of the NFL Player Association. And I also think it was a friendly nudge to Gruden. That's what I think. I think they were hoping they would push this email out and basically say to Gruden, Gruden, you know what you fucking said in these emails? Right. Step down. So you were thinking they were trying to make him I think they leave. were trying to get him to quietly resign. Right. I think they Bef were being nice. Before they had to like send out the yeah, rest. Yeah, and I mean, I mean, if the if if you believe in the theory that Gruden's not the only super closeted racist, homophobic, et cetera, et cetera, in the NFL, which I definitely fucking believe in. Oh yeah. Uh, I think they were like, dude. We like you. You're on a massive contract. Quietly resign because of this Demora Smith thing. It's a hell of a lot worse than what we've got in our back fucking pocket. Mm -hmm. And Gruden said, fuck you. <laughs> I'm digging my heels in. I don't give a shit what you have to say. And they're like, all right, bet. You really want to play that game? And then boom, they drop all the emails. Tell me how the fuck one email about Demora Smith gets leaked and not the rest of them. Uh, yeah. And then who's the dude leak? Who leaks it? Like, is it like... Clearly, clearly somebody had an agenda. Uh, right. to get Gruden fired. Because maybe no maybe this dude, say, they got to have a multiple, probably hundreds of people looking through these emails. This dude could have found this last year and was like, shit, saying, shit, agree. this doesn't fit the time period of when I want to I want to leak this. Yes, So let bro. me, let's wait. Yes. Maybe he's like, 100%. shit, I got the over and under next week and I need, <laughs> and, and, and I need, I need Gruden the fuck out, dude. He's like, dude, I'm betting my fucking house on the under. Gruden <laughs> yeah. gets fired. Raiders can't score. <laughs> he's like, fuck, dude. It's like he's been he's That's making so big funny. moves. He's like, fuck, I'm gonna leak this shit. No, it's like I, who the I, like I who agree. leaks it? Like what do they walk into the fucking New York Times building and it's New like York I got Times these the people who dropped I it. got these emails. Just that, some dude quite like literally, what the fuck? Yes. Like, I think I think it's probably a phone call between some higher ups. Right. You know, a very private phone call. But here's the thing, I think you're totally right. I think when this came out a year ago, if there's clearly a fucked up agenda. I would like to say I'm getting a little bit conspiracy theory mm -hmm. here. Nothing wrong but with I that. think it's clear that there's an agenda agenda from whoever recovered these emails that however they leak this it needs to benefit the NFL right, right yeah. because a year ago the NFL is under fire the NFL is losing a fuck ton of money because mm -hmm. no one's in attendance for COVID yep. and they're under fire for all this sexual misconduct shit with the Washington football team that is a horrible look for the NFL as soon as they uncover those emails they can't drop them then the NFL yeah. looks worse now you realize all the owners are racist I mean we kind of all fucking knew that right but they're like openly saying these horrible things with concrete evidence yeah that looks horrible for the NFL but if you wait until the season gets gets going mm -hmm. you leak these small bits and pieces about john gruden you drop the fucking hiroshima bomb on yeah, john yeah. Gruden. you drop a fucking atomic nuclear social media bomb on john gruden and then you force him out you make him resign every single nfl social media is like john gruden's such a horrible person we talk about how you know we had to get him out of the league because we're such good people we can't right, believe so they we look found good. this information now they look good mm -hmm. gruden falls on the sword nobody else is under fire yeah that, and then dude, there and has now we to make be fucking there's no Neither. way there's not other emails that have nothing to do with him. There's no yeah, fucking know, way in hell. Out of 650,000 fucking emails, you're telling me John Gruden is the only there's, person that sent a racially insensitive, no homophobic, whatever way. email no and the entire thing? Oh, here's the part of the thing, too. If John Gruden is saying to Bruce Allen or re really to anybody that he knows, if he's confident in, in saying something like, uh, the NFL should not be allowing coaches to draft gay players. This is when the first gay player, like, to the Carl Nassib's on his fucking team, by the way. Right. But we're, I'm talking about, um, I think it's Michael Young. Do you guys remember the first openly gay NFL player? It was like 2007. Okay. Or something like that. Maybe two. Ah, fuck. I don't remember. I'm sorry, boys. My journalistic integrity is just going down the drain here. It was already <laughs> so high. He makes that comment to somebody. He I might have been to Bruce Allen. If you're comfortable emailing someone that you think the NFL, Michael Sam, Michael Sam, thank you, boys. If you're comfortable emailing someone that you think gay people shouldn't be drafted, you clearly think that they, they share that the opinion. Same. Yeah. Or 
at least That's don't a give a yeah. fuck what you say. That's a good I mean, thought. Would you really walk in like to your classroom like and say to your teacher like, "Yo, I don't think the NFL should be drafting gay people." That's like, a you good would thought. Never say I'm, that. So my uh, point is, you can't see the correspondence. It's just Gruden's emails that are leaked. Right. It's it's a oh, clear so agenda. There's like get Gruden the fuck out of here. Yeah. And whoever responded in that whole big menagerie of people doing this, we just don't see it. Right. So you don't get to. No one knows who these were sent to. Absolutely. Well, we assume we know that a lot of them were sent to Bruce Allen. Okay. We know that Bruce Allen is a big player in this, but he's also the former president. So there's no sword for him to fall on. He's just a fucking loaded dude who's no longer associated with the with Washington that. football team. Yeah, so yeah. It doesn't matter to him. Like, there's got to be. There's no flack for the people he was sending these to, and these people are just responding like mm-hmm. it's just normal. You know, like they never came forward and was like, "Hey, look at this email." Absolutely. John Gruden just sent me. He just said a you bunch know, of racist yes, shit absolutely. and then no they nothing was said all these years you know jerry jones was dying to get in on that oh yeah jerry jones was like gruden fucking cc me on the email <laughs> i want to talk about or, this shit forward me this shit i've been i've been around i've been around long enough bro he's got to be one of the is he, who's like the oldest it's owner fucking dude. jerry jones bro <laughs> jerry it? jones it's gotta be damn it bro oh my jerry jones God. might as well have acted in django he might as well have been the lead in django <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah. Jerry Jones has been around for so fucking long. I'm not, look, I'm not actually saying anything against Jerry Jones, but I feel like Jerry Jones, like, if we had to make a joke here and say it, if it was anybody. He's got to be on some memes. <laughs> it's Martha Ford. Martha Ford probably wants in on that shit, too. I wouldn't be shocked, bro. Yeah, I mean, listen, there's nothing inherently racist about being super old, but, I mean, just imagine the amount of social change you've seen in your life if you're, like, 80 oh, plus years old. Well, old. and you've being seen so at their, st- shit. think about their status, too, how fucking loaded they are so that just puts them people like that that have been loaded for so long they're just absolutely way like their heads fucked up like <laughs> they just, just don't yeah. they don't know i don't know how to explain it they just well, they've learned so much at some point you want to stop adapting right I, and I they I don't go it. they're they're not they don't live a normal life anymore i mean no absolutely. like it's what i'm gonna oh do right now i just want to top off my conspiracy theory here about okay. the john gruden stuff i know we're bouncing all over the place me and you are chase with this john gruden stuff just because yeah. there's literally so much but to top it off, there are the facts, and then there's my conspiracy theory. Right now, I kind of want to go into the conspiracy mm-hmm. theory part. So the facts are, first email is leaked about Demora Smith. About a week later, the full-fledged bomb of emails comes out. Yeah. Gruden resigns because it's horrible. Uh, Mike Davis, the Raiders owner, Raiders owner, is making statements. It's very clear that Gruden is getting shuffled out of the NFL. Everyone's taking a firm stance against it. Even Madden has now taken Gruden out of the game. Really? Really? It's like Ray Rice. Wow. Do you remember halfback number yeah. 25 in Madden Mobile? Yeah. Was wow. when Ray Rice got his allegations. So they're taking Gruden out. Damn. These are the facts. My conspiracy theory is one of two things. Number one, they have had the access to these emails for over six months. At the very least, they have known about this. They just wanted to drop it at the right time that would benefit the NFL. Any of this happening doesn't benefit the NFL. Mm-hmm. It still sucks. Yeah. But at least this way, the NFL can say they're phasing out. They're taking a stance. They're right. shooting for Gruden to get out. I do not believe that there's been a year-long investigation against the Washington football team and they just stumbled upon these emails just now. There's no I don't way. believe that for a second. There's no way. Also, if that's the case, show me all 650,000 emails. I want to know everything about every single owner. I want to see this shit get ripped there's, apart. Yeah, there's no shot there ain't anything else in those like, emails. Well, what the fuck there's are the other no emails way. about that? There's, there's no, no way. way. If there's Gruden no fucking is brazenly way. saying this stuff just on email, mm-hmm. there's so much more. I think that leads into the second half of this conspiracy theory, which is, number one, the email about Demora Smith was sent out so that Gruden would resign. He didn't because he's John Gruden. Yep. Uh, digs in his heels and then they drop the atomic bomb on him. The next part of that conspiracy theory is I think Gruden is falling on the sword, so to speak. I think Gruden right now is taking a dive, not at his own willpower. Right. It's not like they said, Gruden, bro, just take the heat for this yeah, so all yeah. the other owners can be yeah, good. Yeah. They said, somebody needs to get fucked here because we have 650,000 emails of horrible, horrible shit and somebody needs to go down, but we can't crumble this entire organization. And quite frankly, Frankly, I don't think Gruden's one of the most powerful people out of all those. The owners have Mm-mm. so much money. I mean, who can fight against Jerry Jones, for example? His pockets run so deep oh, that man can do anything. Unlimited money. Okay, so I hate to keep throwing Jerry Jones in here. I, I don't know that there's anything bad about Jerry Jones. He could be an incredible guy. So I hate to say that. It's just a really good example. Yes, yeah, he fits the mold. He does fit the bill. <laughs> <laughs> for being honest. So to top that conspiracy theory off, I think it's just so evidently clear that Urban Meyer leaked John Gruden's emails. 100%. <laughs> oh, actually, <laughs> Joe Burrow, bro. Hello? Hello, Goodell? Leak the emails. Yes, this is yeah. open. <laughs> <laughs> bro, Are gonna... you Goodell? Are you Goodell? <laughs> Bro, we can't we wouldn't we can't keep a fucking straight face. I just fucking 
<laughs> Holy fuck, bro. Oh, my oh God. My. <laughs> Holy shit. Honestly, Joe Burrow made John Gruden send those emails. Yeah. Joe Burrow, when he was 11 years old, pissed off Gruden at football camp somehow, and it just forced him to say those things. But I generally believe at, at the bottom of my heart that um, there is so much more to these emails. 100%. They're never going to get released. Yeah. I think uh, Gruden is taking the fall so that media-wise, somebody got punished. Something got leaked from the football team investigation. All's well, it ends well. You kick Gruden out, you can say your investigation was successful, and you don't even have to dive into the gigantic plethora of horrible shit that's out there. Yeah, I, I mean, think. there's no fucking shot. There ain't something else mm -hmm. in there that should be coming out. It's crazy, bro. Or they're just brushing it under the rug and oh, they're never talk it. about it. They're sweeping it under the rug. Never talk about it again. I don't think this shit will ever get talked about again. I think we're going to ride the Gruden meme wave. Uh, we're going to ride the Urban Meyer meme wave. Yeah. And, and I think two, three weeks from now, we don't talk about this again, which is crazy. Yeah, and honestly, is. we should even come back to it. I would love to see. We should, yeah, update. We should just, yeah, update because I don't think there's going to be an update. Right. I think, sadly, there won't be.